In this video, we're going to look into the best alternative to Namecheap web hosting. So if you're in Africa, you pretty much know that Namecheap is the most popular hosting company as regards to the pricing and also the mode of payment. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the best alternative to Namecheap web hosting according to the pricing, the mode of payment, the customer service response time, and also the trust pilot rating hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is ns chooks in my youtube channel i post content related to web design so if you might be interested in topics related to web design you pretty much want to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification on my channel so you get notified whenever i upload a new video so without wasting much of our time let's get started just right after this short break okay welcome back to the video guys so the web hosting company that i'm talking about is asura hosting so i will be leaving a link in the description of this video for you to get to this website or you can actually type nstjukstech.com forward slash asura hosting to get here meanwhile that's an affiliate link if you use the link to purchase any product from asura hosting i'm going to get a little commission with no more expense on you right if you want to use the link you can do that or if you want to go to asura hosting directly you can as well do that so the platform i'm talking about is right here the asura hosting so very first thing i want to do is to go to the trust pilot page and let's see the rating it's gotten from trust pilot so as I go over to the Trustpilot page right here and if you just go over to Trustpilot.com, search for Asura Hosting and you're going to see this page right here. So you can see that uh, they have a review from 40 people right here. They have been reviewed by 40 people right here and they have an average score of 4.7 out of 5 star guys. So I think this is actually a good review so in this video we are still gonna go ahead to review this website hosting platform right here and um, i'm going to show you their pricing i'm going to show you their mode of payment and i'm also gonna show you their customer service response time as well so for now you can see the trust pilot rating right here you can go over to trustpilot.com search for asurahosting.com and then you're gonna see their ratings right here so you just read up all the ratings and write-ups and all those things that you're seeing right here we don't have time for that in this video is gonna be a short video as well so guys let's go over to the asura hosting right here and this is their website so go over to nsjukstech.com forward slash asura hosting okay let's go through their home page right here you can see affordable website hosting okay uh, you can see right here easily make payments so we support three different methods of payment on our platform including bitcoin credit card and debit card as well and then stripe and paypal so basically they accept even more than three different methods of payment and we're gonna see that in about a moment okay guys so let me just go ahead and you can see from the menu bar right here they offer web hosting services yeah and then they offer reseller hosting if you click on the reseller hosting you can see they also offer the direct admin reseller hosting right here so if you don't want to use cpanel you can actually purchase their direct admin reseller hosting from here but if you want cpanel you go ahead and purchase the cpanel reseller hosting as well and you can see the cheap reseller hosting as well and then they have this streaming package also you can go over there and you can look what it's all about they also offer a vps hosting right here and this makes them look actually very much superior now there are solutions let's go over here and you can see web hosting solution one dollar web hosting they even have a hosting as low as one dollar you can see that and they also offer wordpress hosting right here 
you can go to about them and then read read much about the asura hosting so for now let's go ahead and then let's see the pricing so for us to see the pricing let's click on this view web hosting plans right here so i'm gonna click on view web hosting plans right here and then you can now see their web hosting plans so from here they have two tabs so you have to switch to cpanel if you want to purchase a plan from cpanel and by default is left at direct admin so you, you should be very very careful if you are not observant enough you won't notice this right so if you want to purchase their web hosting account that uses cpanel you pretty much want to switch to cpanel hosting right here make sure you do not leave it at direct admin else you'll be purchasing hosting accounts that uses direct admin and maybe if you don't know how to use direct admin you'll be stuck okay now let's switch it to cpanel personally i prefer cpanel to direct admin i don't like that thing seriously okay now you can see their billing cycle right here they have monthly and they have annually right so i'm just gonna switch it to annually right here let's see okay now um you can see all their packages for starting from the starter plan down to unlimited unlimited plus and the air light as well i think the air light here is for the big guys yeah i think so okay guys you can take your time to go over all their packages and compare them right here so they moved ahead to compare their prices i think somewhere in this page okay you can see that right here uh this is web hosting plan comparison you can see that so you just go through their page and then see the comparisons and see the packages the difference between the packages and know the one that is best for you right okay now from here let me just go ahead with this one right here this unlimited package right here remember i switched to cpanel and then i turned it over to annually right here and i'm gonna click on this order now right here so i'm gonna click on order now and in this next page i'm being prompted if i want to register a new domain or i want to transfer my domain from another registrar or i will use my existing domain and update my name servers so the, this third option right here is maybe i have a domain name from a platform like for example namecheap and i still want the na domain name to be at namecheap right i still want to be renewing at namecheap so i don't want to move it over to asura hosting i will just leave it to namecheap and i'll change the name server from namecheap name server to asura name server right but the second option right here in the middle is if i want to transfer the domain name down from namecheap to asura hosting right so i'm just gonna go ahead with the register a new domain right here because i don't have any domain i want to transfer or i don't have any other domain i want to update the name servers right so i'm just gonna click on the leave it at register a new domain and then i'll search a new domain right here okay so let's do this sorry i have my caps lock turned on let's do this okay now coming down to the domain extensions right here if you click here they have a whole lot of domain name extensions that you can go for they have a ton of it guys you can see you can keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling they have a whole lot of it guys so you just check over the ones that you want and then it will probably be here right if i say dot online i want it to be dot online you can see that dot online is there if i say dot co dot uk you can see that it's here already so they have a whole lot of these guys i'll just leave it at dot com right here and i'll click on check which i know that it will pretty much be available right okay you can see this rubbish right here dot com is available so i'm just gonna click on continue okay you can see this is the hosting price the price for domain name is not included yet so scrolling down you can see you can also edit the 
billing cycle right here you can choose monthly you can choose quarterly the semi annually and the annually or maybe you might want to extend it to biannually or try annually right so that depends on you you can see that it actually depends on you but for me i'm gonna leave it at annually right and then scrolling down they have additional services that you might want to check out but for now i'm just gonna leave it like this right and i'm just gonna go ahead because i don't need any of these guys okay so i'm just gonna click on continue so while i click on continue you can now see the domain in my bot right here so it's requesting that maybe i want to add some additional services right here but the most important service i want to add right here is the id protection right so i don't want my domain register information to show up on any platform maybe like whois.com so i want to protect my details right so I, that is actually very very much important so you don't keep getting spam emails and spam users on your website or spam comments on your website as well so this could be very very much essential right so i always like this like namecheap actually pretty much offers this for free of charge right namecheap offers it for zero dollars forever i think yeah so i pretty much like this uh, it's a pity that from here they offer it at three 99 bucks but i i'll pretty much also go for it because you know it's very much essential actually so for the dns management it's not really that essential the email forwarding i'm just gonna leave these two unchecked and leave only the id protection checked so i'm gonna click on continue all right guys in the next window right here we're gonna pretty much see the breakdown of what we have in our cart right so the first one we have the hosting package that we just added to cart and the second one we have the domain name coupled with the id protection that we just added right now and you can see the sum total of a 43.77 usd right so we're just gonna do one thing right here if you are in africa maybe if you're in nigeria just gonna scroll down a little bit more you can see the choose currency so currently in nigeria right now we have this cbn restriction that you know will not allow us to make transactions of more than 20 dollars per month right so because of that we're just gonna have to click on this choose currency right here and we're gonna switch it back to the nigeria right here so we we will not be making the payment um in us dollars right because you know it's already past 20 dollars so we can't make that payment using usd so you just have to you know um switch it back to ngn which is the nigerian naira or maybe you switch it to any other you know um currency that you need right so uh, when you switch it back to nigeria now you can now see the equivalence right here and i just want to say one thing guys this conversion rate is actually pretty pretty much cheap right this is actually very even as low as below google rate right yeah if i go if i open another tab and then that was 43.77 usd right so if i just do 43.77 usd to naira right you can see that Naira google rate is even higher than that you can see google rate right if i go back to here you can see right here we have 19,696 naira with some kobo at the right hand side you can see that guys so so normally the google rate is considered to be very very much low right and then the asura web hosting rate is even lower than the google rate so this is something that i think is pretty much wonderful right about this platform so you pretty much want to change it to nigeria if you are in nigeria and then you will see the equivalence right here so you just have to pay for this so you remember if you are using usd if you are using usd right here you can't pay for 43.77 usd with a nigerian bank card but then if you now switch it back to ngn which is a nigerian naira right here 
you can't be able to pay for 19,696 naira using your bank card so that's a very good one guys now scrolling down also if you have any promo code you can put it right there and validate it and then they will deduct the promo amount right here but then you can just go ahead to impute your details right here impute your details right here and then this is the payment method guys if you're in africa you pretty much want to go with the bitcoin or the flutter wave options right here because um we don't really have the paypal and the credit cards over right here the stripe and paypal right here is not really much in africa right so you pretty much want to go with the bitcoin or the flutter wave right here so i'm just going to click on the flutter wave right here and then uh, with the flutter wave you, you can easily pay with your debit card right you can easily pay with your debit card or maybe your bank application as well so i'm just gonna leave it at the flutter wave and um just go ahead to click on checkout right here yeah i'm not gonna check this out is i'm not gonna buy any domain name i'm hosting actually but now you just got the gist um i've tried to give you right so i didn't impute any details that's why i have all this red info right here yelling at me that i need to you know impute some things uh in this billing section right here so guys that is practically how to buy domain name and hosting from asura hosting right here so talking about the customer service response time yeah i have an account i have been hosting websites using asura hosting and i can pretty much tell you that their response time is actually within one hour right so they don't have this live chat widget over here that you can just message and someone will come to your head immediately no but then they have this live support on their website that you know if you just log into your account or maybe you go over to these contactors right here and write to them and then they will get back to you definitely in one hour time yeah so i've actually contacted them some few times and then they replied to me so i got to look at the response time and then i i can tell you that their response time is within one hour right maybe somewhere around 50 minutes to one hour time they're actually gonna get back to you and they, their customer service is actually very very much polite right they work really hand in hand with their customers so i hope um, that it helps you a lot guys i hope that it helps you a lot you know that namecheap sometimes you might not be able to get bitcoin to you know use namecheap so if your currency is here just go with it uh, my nigerian brothers this is actually a very nice one for us guys so just make use of this information and then if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any question any further question leave it in the comment section below you pretty much want to follow my facebook page as well so you you know get connected to the community i also post my videos right here on facebook so you want to check out my facebook page right here guys and then um, guys that's all i have for you in this video if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please consider hitting the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you get notified whenever i upload a new video like this so i will see you in the next video goodbye for now